All right, this is AP Lit, and we're discussing chapters 11 through 18. Um, I will get you some questions for this, and you'll get your quiz back, and you can look at it. But anybody want to start anything, we'll start over here with Ethan. Um, I found it interesting how Pug was kind of battling and whether he should turn in gem or not. And I thought it was interesting how there was like something inside him saying that he like should turn in because that was the law, but then there was like kind of this greater good thing that Jim spread and that he should keep Jim. So I found it interesting how he was like, you know, and he eventually uh, didn't turn Jim in, but I found it interesting how he was going to at one point, but then he did it, and I just that conflict. With him. So um, maybe you just did, but. How do you explain his thinking that slavery is okay? How do you explain that? Um, he probably just thought it was just the kind of way of life, and that's how things were. You don't know any better, right? Yeah, I, and then he was just doing what he was supposed to do to turn him in, um, turn him in jail. That's why it's, now, it's really important that you understand that you might call it a dichotomy, the, the fact that he split between is slavery right or wrong? Yeah, it's got to be right, because it, as you said, it's the law. Um, that's why whenever we legalize things, you know, you, you were talking about legalizing drugs or uh, we legalized abortion um, in 1973, whenever something's legal, it makes people more likely to do it, right? They're less likely if it's, if it's not legal, and all you have to do is change, now it's no longer illegal to do it, and so we need to be careful what we legalize. Um, like civil Todd, are you with us here? <laughs> Good. All right, so anyway, who's next? Yes. Uh, I thought it was, this is a really violent chapter. I saw it towards the end. Yeah, it, it is. It a lot of Good. death, which is, I mean, it dealt with like some violent topics before, in the book, but this especially contained a lot of that death in it. It was also very, like there's the death of Robert at the end, there's the death of the, uh, in the gunfight at the end. Yeah. That's a really legitimate thing to say. Um, what, what, what comment do you think the author Twain is trying to make? That it's a major theme of the whole book. What's he saying about violence? A little bit about human nature stuff, about the tendency towards violence, and also uh, showing that you know, uh, as much as Huck may try to be you know moral sometimes and do what he believes is right, there's these people who like have much less morals than him. In this world. That's a good point. Yes. But in comparison, his kind of foolish shenanigans. Right, and the motive, it's like he's a liar, but you know. Why is not so bad as the murderer. Right, and, and they can hurt people, they steal from people, the king and the duke, and like you say, the stranger first, they're murderers. Um, good, yeah. I um, find it um, interesting, like continuing from our the last reading, the like knowledge that Puck has of like street smarts kind of for when they were leaving the island, he thinks he knew like to leave the decoy campfire That's a good point, and, and uh, we could put the whole category of his lying. He's really good at it, and he rarely, he doesn't give himself away easily. I kind of admire that. I don't condone, I'm not condoning lying, but he, if he's caught in a lie, he doesn't, okay, you're right, you know, he, he doesn't fold, he just shifts his story. Uh, he's very cool under pressure. He thinks on his feet. Uh, I think that is a quality any of us could could enjoy. Yes. One interesting thing this book forces us to do is it, it we're, as 21st century people look back 150 years at the morals of the 19th century and we, we come to the conclusion that slavery is not good, slavery is bad, whether you live then or whether you live now. 
Uh, murder is not good, whether you live then or, or you live now. So I just, I think that's, that's important to remember that there are certain things that are always bad. Then there's some things that may change from time to time that may be good, may be bad. Um, it is, it's an interesting book in that respect. Uh, yes. Well, I thought it was interesting how when Huck was talking to Slothus and they were talking about his murder, how, like, uh, everyone thinks that Pap was the one that did it, and they even try to, like, lynch him, and he's got a $200 bounty on his head, but Jim is still the one with a higher bounty, like, for his capture. I and thought... He, well, it sometimes... Remember, at one point, Ms. Loftus suggested that people thought Jim killed him. So. Right, but now everybody, she kind of made it sound like most people think it's Pap, but I thought it was weird how the, Jim still had the higher bounty, which I guess is just, like, all they're trying to show us uh, like how bad slavery really is because yeah. a slave is worth is like uh, it's like more important to capture the slave than to capture who, right. uh, who someone thinks is a murderer an escaped slave is worse than a, uh, uh, a free murder yeah. yes that's interesting yeah um, like I thought it was also interesting that Huck decides or not decides but like starts to create like this equality between him and Jim I was looking for that line, but he already said it. Um, it's that's a really important line when he comes back from his office and he says they're after us. They weren't after Huck because Huck's dead, right? They were after Jim, but he he um, identifies with Jim at this point so much that he's he, he it's us that they're after. That's good. Um, anybody over here? Yes. Um, I kind of thought it was weird how uh, Huck dis or decides to like, uh, disguise himself as like a girl. Because I feel like that would be harder than to like, disguise himself as like, another boy. Because it would be like, I don't know. I feel like it's harder to go from like, a boy to a girl and just disguise yourself as like the same as identity, but like, the same gender. Well, he doesn't do a very good job either. Yeah. Remember? Um, I, I think he's so close to home that people might, here's a young 14 year old boy, you know, that's, maybe your hug, maybe hug didn't get killed, so maybe that's his, his reasoning, but that, that's, that's kind of a, that's a good point. Earlier in the book, remember they found Pat, and I think he had a, a dress on, you know, and I think it was, uh, it was, you know, a disguise, it was maybe something that was common. Uh, was, um, I thought it was kind of interesting how, as much as Hug lies, it never really comes back to bite him because he's so good at it. I feel like a lot of the books that we've read, if a character lies a lot, it comes back and it hits them and it makes things worse off for them, but Hug seems to always get away with it. And why? Because he's good at it. Well, he is, but also, is it, is it lying in the sense that we usually think of lying? I mean, he's definitely lying, but what makes it different? If you can if you can say that this kind of lying is not as bad as some other kind of lying, why is it not as bad? And for what purpose? Like, what, why does he lie? And he's trying to, is he trying to hurt people when he lies? No. So what's he trying to do? Be better. And protect himself. And Jim. So, I mean, his motive is more is more noble than most, like, the king and, well, you hadn't met them yet. Um, when you meet them, con men, they lie, but they lie to hurt people. And they're not trying to hurt anybody, do you? dig at churches, you know, I mean, the, the, the typical church hypocrite, the person who is guilty of the very thing that they, uh, you know, they're going to church and try to not be, they're guilty of it, yes. I thought it was interesting, just kind of the fact that I expected there to be something between, like, Sophia and Lord Silly, like, and, like, Carney. Yeah. Like, Like, as soon as she like asked Huck to go back, I was like, I already knew what was going to go down. 
course, well, who do you think of when you think of Carney and Sophia? But what other story have you ever read that has Right, so, I mean, it's a little <coughs> bow to Romeo yeah. and Juliet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see, Todd. Hey, he said he was suicide this time. Uh, I thought it was interesting Ooh. how, like, Jim and Todd carried, like, very different kind of personalities with how, like, one of them was very, like, Huck was very adventurous. He loved going on the adventures with, like, the steamboat, but Jim didn't like that and really didn't want to, but they still got along really well. Why do you think Jim doesn't want to do those adventures and Huck does? What do you think? Can I go to um, He's like, Jim might get caught, and he doesn't want to get caught. He wants to be able to reach family. And, or get hurt. You know, are you going to say that? I mean, he's got a family. You, when, you, when you have a family, you're not going to take as many risks as you would if you were unmarried and don't have a family. And I think we probably should stop. Uh, read the next. Um, it's the 19 through 26 for next Tuesday. Uh, finish your sonnet for tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>